OK, so in this problem, we have 15% of items checked on a production line are found to be faulty. If 13 items are selected from the line, find the probability that less than three items are faulty. So we want the probability of x being less than 3. Now, what we have here is a binomial distribution. So x is binomially distributed with an n, a number of 13, and a probability of being faulty of 15%, so 0.15. <coughs> so that's the distribution. We want to find that probability. So that is the same as saying, well, I want to find the probability of x being equal to 0 plus the probability of x being equal to 1 and also the probability of x being equal to 2 because I want strictly less than 3. So I could use the formula for each of these. So uh, for 0, we would have 13 choose 0. So 13 NCR 0 times probability of success, so 0.15 to the power of 0 times 0.85, so 1 minus P, to the power of 13 plus probability of x equals 1, so 13 choose 1, so 13 NCR 1, times 0.15 to the power of 1, times 0.85 to the power of 12, because I want 1 that's faulty and 12 that aren't. And then finally, probability of x equals 2 is 13 NCR 2 times 0.15 squared, times 0.85 uh, to the 11. So you can see that this calculation is quite large. Now, 13 choose 0 is 1. So is 0.15 to the power of 0. So we just have the 0.85 uh, to the power of 13. So I'll write that down uh, to four decimal places, plus 13 NCR1, which is 13, times 0.15, times by 0.85 to the power of 12. And that gets me 0 0.2774 to four decimal places, plus 13 choose 2, so 13 NCR2, which is 78, times 0.15 squared, times 0.85 to the power of 11. And that's 0.2937 to four decimal places. And now I'm just going to add these together. So uh, what do we get? I'll, I'll use the full calculator display when I'm actually calculating this, uh, uh, adding them all up, rather just so that we've got it as accurate as possible. And then this, so plus uh, 0.85 to the power of 13. And that's 0 0.69196431278. So, so this is 0 0.6920 to 4 decimal places. Now, as you can see, this is quite long-winded. And uh, on top of that, if you think, if I, if I was to find uh, the probability of x being uh, less than 8 or something like that, or let's say, then I'd have seven calculations to add together. Or if this number was 20, for example, and I wanted to find the first 10 added together, then you can see that this calculation for the probabilities can get very long and arduous. And thankfully, we have a formula booklet which has um, some of these already contained and worked out for us. So 
What I'm going to do in the next video is show you how to use the formula booklet to find these probabilities. Okay? Um, and you will be able to then look this one up directly from the tables.